Hello everybody! Welcome to another episode of The Vesper Gaming. This is Ramses, and I'm going to bring you a solo Let's Play of another wrestling-based game that was found on the NES. We've already done a few, so check those out if you haven't yet. And this will be the fourth one out of nine, and this one is WWF WrestleMania Challenge, another WWF game. And let's hope they learned a few things. If you've seen my previous playthrough of the first WrestleMania game that was found on the NES, you saw that it had a few problems and a few things that could improve upon. Hopefully they learned a few things for this one. This game came out in November 1990 for the NES, and it has Ultimate Warriors Champion. That's who was champion, because this is around the time of WrestleMania 6, of course. And yeah, it should be fun. It has a very complete roster. There's nine wrestlers in total, eight that are actual wrestlers, and one that's made up just for this game. And we'll, I'll show you all those in a little bit. But let's check this out. All right, so there you go. You have uh, one player mode, two player modes, or you can do one and two players against the computer. But since it's just me, Vesper's not around, we'll do one player. You can play as yourself, as I mentioned, Macho King Randy Savage, Ultimate Warrior, Ravishing Rick Rude, Brutus the Barber Beefcake, Hulk Hogan, Andre the Giant, Big Boss Man, Hacksaw Jim Duggan, and that's it. So let's start off with a one player match, I'll show you what this game is all about. You can do a singles match, tag team match where you can pick two, or a Survivor Series match. I'll just show you the singles match and I'll take Ultimate Warrior and they automatically assigned it Rick Rude as the opponent. So there you go. Okay, so as you can see, it already looks a little different from the previous WrestleMania game. The ring is in this top-down isometric view, so it's kind of a diamond shape now as we get a weird angle of it. But you can see there's lots of crowd now. That's something they didn't have in the previous game. So definitely more graphically impressive, more details. Uh, but it still looks pretty simplistic. I mean, you can definitely tell it's Ultimate War and Ravishing Rick Rude, even though they're both wearing neon green pants for some strange reason. But it's very simple. You can see the life meters are on the bottom there, and I already have him down basically to nothing. And the goal is just to pretty much get his energy down before he removes your energy. And when his energy is down, uh, you can pin him. You can climb the rope very easily just by walking up to him pushing A and B. You can do that wallet move by pushing A and B. You can throw him around by pushing the A button. Warrior has that gorilla press where he tosses him right out. And yeah, that's the whole game. It's very simplistic. And let's throw him out again. And that's the whole game. He's down to no energy now. You can see the life meters on the bottom screen. And now all I have to do is knock him down once, push the B button, and that's it. And then you pin him. And they count to three, and that's the whole game. So there you go. That was WrestleMania Challenge. I hope you have... Nope, just kidding. That was just one mode. I want to show you every mode that this game has to offer. So that was just a single player mode. You do one exhibition match, and that's it. Whoever wins, wins. And then it goes back to the title screen. So that's the simplest match we have here. So let's try another one again. I want to show you another one player mode here. And uh, this time I'll pick... Who do I want to pick this time? Okay, Hulk Hogan. Let's go Hulk Hogan. I'll do a tag team match, so I gotta pick a partner now. And uh, we'll go back to our WrestleFest game. Remember we used Hogan and Bossman in one of our first videos? So here we go. I'm gonna use Hogan and Bossman. And they're pitting me against Andre and Hacksaw Jim Duggan. So it's pretty much the same thing. You're gonna go around doing your simplistic moves. Hogan has a few different moves, which is also nice about this game. WrestleMania Challenge actually gave the wrestlers different moves. Even though it's a very limited move set, each wrestler does have their own unique moves for the most part. Alright, so yeah, he has a drop kick if you push A and B. He can do the body slam. Most of the wrestlers do that. Push select to change a partner. So I just switched out for boss man now, and he starts with a full meter, of course, as you can see. He does that belly flop move when they're on the ground. You can throw his stomach around, and he has the body slam also. So they give a little variety. They tried to make it uh, work for the size and this type of character that it was. So I thought at least they put a little effort here. And characters like Bossman definitely look better here. I mean, that's very clearly Bossman. They jump up victoriously, which is funny to watch Bossman leap into the air. And that's it. Just like that. Just because it's a tag team doesn't mean it goes any longer. I pin the guy, and that's it. Hogan and Bossman won. I'm going to show you some more, of course. So there's another mode here that we want to take a look at. So let's go back to one player again. And this time I will pick, uh, yes, the Macho King. And we're going to do a Survivor Series. It's uh, teams of three versus three. So I want to pick some team partners here. Let's do Brutus Beefcake. And I'll take, who haven't I used it? Duggan, yeah, Hacksaw Jim Duggan. And now they're going to put three random people against me. And it's like your traditional Survivor Series. Whoever pins three first wins. So... We gotta remove all three of their teammates before they remove all three of us. It's like the Survivor Series, except minus one. Usually the Survivor Series has four or five. Alright, so the Macho King has some different moves. He does a lot of elbows, which is pretty much what the Macho King would do. He does those leaping elbows like that. 
you can do his elbow off the top rope like this but it's very hard to hit as you'll see it's hard to hit off the turnbuckle there but it's fun that you can at least get onto it so easily so i do like that and i'll trade it out let's get barber in here just so we can see what he can do and you'll notice everyone has their themes so again they put in all the themes of all the wrestlers which is really cool whenever in the ring you'll hear like a minute or 30 seconds worth of their theme before it cycles out to the opponent's theme so i thought that was very cool the music sounds great again in this game just like it did in the first game Barber has his sleeper hold. If you walk behind them, you can do the sleeper, and that's really cool. I don't want any part of being outside. It's very hard to leap back in. The computer can easily leap back in. I have to go the turnbuckle route to get back in. And, you, of course, if the count reaches 10, it's game over just like that. You're eliminated, so you don't want that to happen. But that's not going to happen. In this game, it's actually hard to win by count out. The computer's too smart for that. All right, so let's trade our partner again, I think. Yep, let's get Duggan in here. He has a fresh coat of uh, health now. And he can do the three-point stand. That's Duggan's move. You see you charge his charging move by pushing A and B, and then you just run at your opponent. So he can do his finishing move with the simple push of two buttons, which is kind of cool. So the object of the game is just pretty much uh, mash B and get the, up to your opponent. And you can just pretty much just keep throwing him or tossing him about or wherever the move is. So that's why, while this game is definitely better, it's definitely an improvement, it's still very, very simplistic. I mean, pretty much all you're doing is body slamming the opponent down and then you're jumping on them when they're down. So, yeah, not, not too great for wrestling, but much improved over the first, because at least, you know, you feel like it's a complete game, it's winnable, it's fun for what it is, and you can do other moves if you capture them at a different time. Let's see if we got them. Nope, didn't get them. So you get up by pushing left and right. Uh, instead of pushing a button, you just push left, right on the D-pad to move, and there you go. He's out of energy, we're done. Hogan was eliminated by Duggan, something you probably never would see happen, but in this game, it did. So there you go. So one out of the three has been eliminated, but it's a Survivor Series, so now we still have to beat the other two. So let's trade out, get Mantra King back in here to take on the Warrior. Alright, so oh, I actually hit with the elbow, that's kind of cool. Alright, so Warrior throws people about. He's the only one I think that can do that, like, Gorilla Press uh, toss like that. So they did add some variety to the characters, not just generic, everybody does the same things. But most of the characters are similar, you know, they do a pretty much a generic throw like this, and they have a different throw if you capture them from behind, tossing you behind the back. Let's see if I can get it. Nope, I'm trying to hit a move. My goal here is to try to hit somebody with a move over that turnbuckle. We'll see if it happens during these gameplays here. Alright, so pretty much just weaken them. That's the whole game. It's very simplistic, very short, very easy. You just want to keep throwing them about, watch their meter go down, they'll trade out, so now Rude has a full meter again, so now we got to whittle his energy down. And yeah, that's it. There's no time limit that I can tell here, so that's another improvement they made. No more of that clock ticking down and ties and stuff. So they got rid of a lot of things that didn't work in the other game, but they also added some things that aren't so great in this game either, like the simplicity of it, how basic and bare bones the whole thing is, and the view is a little weird, even though it works better to see the crowd and stuff, it does take some getting used to. When you move in a direction, you gotta realize you're moving around a diamond that's in a weird shape, so you gotta act accordingly, where, you know, up is sort of diagonal now. But besides that, I think they did a good job. It's definitely an improvement over the first game. I can't say that enough. It's definitely, if this was the first wrestling game, I think this would have been much more successful than what we actually got, because this feels at least like something that you can play. Let's see if we got him here. Yep, and that's it. So, Duggan takes down another one. Goodbye, Rude. There you go, you get the cool screen. It's remnants of the uh, previous game where they have the stars dancing around. And now we have the world champion at the time, the ultimate warrior. And let's see if Duggan can take him down now. So that's all it is. It's pretty much just whittle their energy down, push the pin button, and that's the end of the game. Yeah, you know, sometimes you want a little more than that. Some finishing moves, some pop and circumstance here. Speaking of pop and circumstance, let's get Macho King in here so we can hear that song. But yeah, you wish there was a little more here. It's definitely an improvement, they're in the right direction, but uh, it's still not something I would say is a great wrestling game. I mean, this is so basic and generic. I mean, this could be any little figures fighting around on a generic thing. And there you go, I think that's gonna end it. And yeah, that's it, just like that. We won all three rounds that the single player has to offer. Let's see you, what you get for this, you get Yep, all three of the wrestlers you chose, they're the survivors, congratulations. Well, that's it, right? That's the end of the game. No, there's actually a surprise mode in this game. You remember that there's this uh, character called you, this generic character, yourself, there he is. Well, you select him, look at this. We get a super challenge, only if you select the yourself character. The other modes are the same, but 
we get this one full eight bouts round now if you pick yourself. So here we go, we found the real mode of the game. Of course, we picked this generic uh, brown clothes wearing wrestler, and now we get to fight every other wrestler in the game in tournament style. So there you go, that's the real mode of the game here. So now we gotta beat all eight of these wrestlers to truly say we have defeated this game. And well, it's the same thing. This guy body slams around, he does the leg drop when they're lying down. From behind he does an atomic drop, and if you hold down the punch button he can do a kick. And there you go, that's basically what his moves are. Very generic, very simple, but yep, it's definitely a wrestler, because he's doing the moves that all the others do. I don't get the point of the yourself, I guess it's just you're supposed to act like you're now taking all these wrestlers, so it's just generic brown suit, brown haired guy that's taking on all the wrestlers. But there you go, just like that, Brutus Beefcake has been defeated. Let's pin him, and there you go. Pretty simple. I think the game gets a little harder, let's see. I think they get a little harder as we go along. It'll always be the same order. It's similar to WrestleMania, where you'll always fight everyone in the same exact order. So Brutus Beefcake was first, and Rick Rude will be second. So yeah, as you can see, it's match two, Rick Rude, and we do exactly what you did before. Oh yeah, you can do a drop kick too, which is cool if you hold the A and B. But this is the whole game. Yeah, it's so, it's better than WrestleMania 1, the, the, the first WrestleMania NES, but not by much. The uh, stories of how there's no real good uh, WWF games on the NES are true. And I'm not going to be like other people that say, oh, it's all because of LJN. No, it's because this is what it was on the NES. It's the best they can do at the time if they have to rush out a game and not put a lot of effort into it. And, you know, not every game could be pro wrestling or Tecmo uh, wrestling, as we'll play Tecmo a little later, and I'll show you what a good wrestling game is. But yeah, this is it. See, I just beat up Rick Rude in 10 seconds while I was talking, not even paying attention to my game player, and there you go, that was it. Rick Rude is out just like that. So, yeah, I like what they try to do here. They put in the Survivor Series, they put in, you know, this generic guy that we can act as. It's kind of like the precursor to a build-your-own wrestler. We're just acting as generic nobody, and we're taking on all the wrestlers, but... It's not enough. This is like a 15-minute game if you go through every mode, as you'll see. Alright, so now we take on the big boss, and he's the third opponent. He was definitely a good guy this time, a face at this time, because he has his hard times theme. He used that when he was a hero. And, yep, he was a pretty cool wrestler at the time, one of my favorites. But, unfortunately, we're going to have to beat him up here, because the yourself guy wants to win this title. So, sorry, boss man. Climb on the rope here. Let's hope we can hit him. Yes, finally hit it with a drop kick off the ropes. Yay. Told you I was going to try to do that. So I guess we could consider that the finisher. Yeah, so I'll consider that my finishing move because there is no official finishing move in this game. Off the top of the ropes, drop kick, and Bossman has been defeated just like that. All right, let's see what number four is. That would be, ah, Hacksaw Jim Duggan. All right. And again, this is another game where they don't have a theme for Hacksaw Jim Duggan yet. He actually didn't get his theme until later on. So they just have generic theme for him. And Andre, I believe they have generic theme for also. Not every wrestler gets a theme if they didn't have one, but it's still they have cool music. It was done once again by David Wise, very famous music composer who did video game music during these years. So, of course, the music is great in this game. That's probably one of the best aspects, as usual, the music in the game. But everything else is generic. It is what it is here, I guess. And we're just going to do exactly what we did. The whole game is slam. A leg drop. And then you watch the bars on his life meter go down. And we do another slam. A leg drop. And... And look, he's already down to two bars here. Let's see, yep, and that's it. You're pretty much just bash the B button a lot until you grab him, like that. Push the B button to pin when they're down, and that's it. The A button will do the leg drop when they're on the ground, and that's the whole game. I mean, there's not really anything more to this, and there's no difficulty levels, there's no way to make this harder or tougher or mix it up or use one of the other wrestlers, nope. You can only use yourself in this eight player tournament, which sucks also. All right, next is Under the Giant. So he was the fifth match here. And uh, yes, see, the, even this generic guy can throw Hunter around. See, Hogan slamming WrestleMania 3, that's nothing. Yourself can throw him like, I mean, look at this. Hogan has nothing on yourself here. I mean, you can body slam Andre like, as if he weighed nothing. All right, but yeah, it doesn't matter who the opponent is. It's the same exact way to beat them. Body slam him, do a leg drop. Uh, try to mix it up a little bit. Throw in some drop kicks. Go on to the turnbuckle. It's it, this is the whole entire game. It's, it's so... Uh, lacking, uh, for lack of a better word. I mean, I mean, they definitely improved things here, but yeah, it needed more. Let's see if we can get him. Nope. All right, so let's throw him. Oh, he got me. All right, so, oh, and he does the sit. That's funny. Yeah, Andre will sit on you as his slam move. That's funny. All right, so let's just keep on pushing the B button when we're near Andre, and 
There you go, we slam him down. We do A to do the leg drops on him. Yeah, you see how exciting this is. I'm barely even trying now. All right, at least we got the drop kick. We can consider that our finisher. Let's see if we can pin him. One, two, and three, and there he goes. Sorry, Andre, I guess you lost it. Yourself is beating you here. So goodbye to Andre the Giant. He was easy to slam. I don't know what the big deal with Hogan slamming him was. That was easy to do. All right, next we got the Macho King. So this is when Randy Savage was doing his Macho King gimmick where he won the King of the Ring and now he was the new King of Wrestling so he really went full heel and full King on us. Pretty much in the ring it looks exactly the same though as his Macho Man persona wearing his pink with the bandana and he does a lot of elbow moves but that won't matter it's the same exact thing we're just gonna do B and slam him and then if we position ourselves right we can do the drop kick on him and uh, do some leg drops and do some drop kicks by pushing A and B. Up, oh, he got a shoulder throw on us, and then he does a knee onto us. Ow. Alright, we'll slam him back and then do another leg drop. Try to get off the ropes. Oh, yes, just got him. See, this is really, you can position yourself in this game. It's really weird. They give you a lot of distance to jump because usually the opponent will run away, so they give you a little leeway that you can direct yourself and control your jump. It's, it's very awkward, the whole thing. But let's see if we can get him. I think he's done. Up, oh, atomic drop. And we just gotta get him down one time. You can do a punch or a kick, but they run away from you. Now that's another thing. You gotta chase them constantly. But at least it's easy to pin. One push of a button, that's the end of it. If they're out of energy, they're not getting up no matter what. There you go. Alright, bye, Macho King. Alright, who's next in the order here? So number seven is, of course, Hulk Hogan. That's because Warrior was the champion this time, so he gets top billing. And Hogan is Hogan, so he's not gonna be far from the top here. And there you go. So now it's going to be yourself versus Hulk Hogan. Who's going to win? Well, I think we already know the answer. This game's kind of simplistic here, but maybe they'll upset us. Let's see what happens. Alright. Oh, he's body slamming me. He's doing these elbows down on me. Now I'm going to drop kick him. And then I'm going to throw him and I'll do a leg drop to you. How do you like getting leg drops, Hogan, huh? Alright, and then we'll do a drop kick. Now let's go on the rope, see if we can get him. No, he ran away. So yeah, the yourself and Hogan characters are very similar. They almost have the same moves, actually. Even though I get the leg drop and he doesn't, go figure on that one. That's a weird change. He gets this elbow and I get a leg drop. See, so, yeah, I think they mix things up a little bit. Hogan's the one that's supposed to do that. All right, atomic drop. I'll hold down the punch, try to kick him. No, it didn't get him. All right, slam him down. We'll do the leg drops. Uh-oh, I'm out of energy. Is he gonna get me? Nope, I gotta push left and right on the d quickly to get up. You can regenerate your energy by just walking around a little bit. So if you need a breather, just move around and your energy will slowly start to refill. Alright, oh, this is going close. I'm out of health. He has more health than me. I gotta do something here. I gotta slam him and then do uh, the leg drop. Alright, he's running away from me. Come back here. Atomic drop. Can I kick him? Yes, that could be it. Ah, uh, I missed my chance. Oh, good. Body slam and pin. That should do it. Oh, that was actually a fun match. It was pretty close. But, not close enough. Sorry, Hogan. Yourself has beaten Hogan, if that makes any sense. The Ultimate Warrior is the last and final match in the eight-player tournament. Let's see what happens. Will Yourself beat Warrior for the champion, or will Warrior be victorious this time? Let's find out. Alright, Warrior has me down to half right now, but we'll have to make a comeback. Try to throw in a drop kick here and there. That's another body slam, another leg drop, another drop kick, and that's all. all right, let's try to mix it up. I'll go on the rope, see if we can get him. No, he ran away. Alright, body slam, leg drops, drop kicks, <laughs> body slam, leg drop. Guess what I'm gonna do next? Yep, that's right. Go on the top rope and see if we can get him. No, he ran away. Alright, body slam. And now he's tossing me around with the gorilla pros. And they do this weird speed boost sometimes, so that's another thing. They will run fast sometimes if you hold down one of the buttons. It's, it kind of happens randomly. You, you can't really count on it. I see like it just happened right now. There you go. Atomic drop. Alright, so we're tired. We're both down to two health bars now. Let's do our leg drop. He's down to one and a half. If we can get him down another time, that should do it. Right, nope, he got it. Alright, let's see if we can go for a finisher. There we go, all right, that should do it. One more slam and he's done. Uh-oh, he's trying to fight back. That's it, and the new champion is yourself. 
And that's the whole game of WrestleMania Challenge, everybody. <laughs> I don't think we're going to say this was a great game, but it's definitely an improvement over WrestleMania. It's almost the exact opposite. And this is what you get. You get the winner of tonight's main event and the new champion, yourself. And there he is, this generic dude here. Who's just like, grr, I, I won the whole thing. You get Victoria's music and... That's it. No credit scroll, no anything else. Nope, just goes back to the title screen. Well, that's it for WrestleMania Challenge. I don't know what else to say. It's a very simplistic game. It's almost the exact opposite in difficulty from the previous WWF game on the NES. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. I guess it's good that it's playable and that the wrestlers have some moves. That's fun. Yeah, that's about it. So, of course, stay tuned for more wrestling-based games. We still have a few more on the NES to look at. I just wanted to give you a taste of what WrestleMania Challenge looked like. And it's not much, but it's definitely an improvement over the last game. That's the one thing I could say about this game. All right, be sure to subscribe, follow, comment, and stay tuned for much more. I mean, the best we have a lot more gameplay for you in store. Hope you enjoyed, and yeah, take care, everybody. Bye-bye for now.